IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Brooke Arrington. And I'm JC. JC, how was your Halloween weekend? You know, it was spectacular. <laughs> That's great to hear. Well, we have lots of news to cover, so let's get started. Congratulations to our Braves marching band. Best percussion, best color guard, and second place overall. Well done. November is National Native American Heritage Month, where we honor the culture and heritage of Native peoples and honor their contributions to our nation. Attention Braves, are you considering joining the bowling team? Well, now is your chance. Tryouts are on November 6th. If you're interested in being part of the team or have any questions, visit or contact Mrs. Hughes. Lizzie has another special report for us. November is National Adopt a Turkey Month. The purpose of this month is to raise awareness about the amount of homeless turkeys in America. If you're looking for a great addition to your home, head over to your local animal shelter and adopt a turkey today. Thanks, Lizzie. We'll be sure to honor the month and adopt a turkey. The 1st and 2nd of November mark the Mexican Festival of the Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos is a colorful festival in which the passing of loved ones is honored, and according to tradition, one can reunite with those who have passed. Patrick and Micah have this week's sports report. Take it away, guys. Hello, Braves. I'm Patrick Langworthy. And I'm Micah Solichatz. We have some important sports news this weekend, so let's get right to it. Congratulations to Chase Lanham, Robert Hayes, Alex Grace, Trey Carter, Eli Riggs, Jonathan Copper, and Dublin Daniel on being named to the first team CHL football. The boys football team crushed Reading 36-21 to advance the OHSAA regional quarterfinal versus Archibald Alter tonight, November 3rd at 7 p.m. This game is being played at Kettering Fairmont High School Stadium. Make sure to go out and support the Braves. The boys' soccer team beat CJ 2-0 in the district championship with goals from Gavin Johnson and Brady Evans, also with assists from Ryan Kennebec and Evan Hinman. They played Summit on Wednesday at St. X. We'll have those results next week. The cross-country team finished sixth overall in their meet. James McGrath and RJ Poffenberger both qualified for the state championship. Great work, guys. Our cheerleaders placed sixth at regionals at Olin Tanky Berlin and qualified for nationals. Way to go, girls. That's all the sports news we have for this week. Back to Brooke and JC at the news desk. Thanks, Patrick and Micah, and good luck to our fall sports Braves moving on in the state tournament. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy in Indian Hill. Hill. Braves, I'm here with Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy has to be a good old Snickers. That's great, thank you. Give me some Snickers. I'm here with RJ. RJ, what's your favorite candy? Twizzlers. What? Twizzlers. Oh, no, no, he's weird, he's weird, man. Andrew Heineken, what's your favorite candy? I have to probably say like a Snickers bar, those are pretty solid. Great, thank you. Teachers, what is your favorite candy? Um, Dub Dark Chocolate. I would say peanut butter M&M's. Both good choices. I'm here with Coach Hill. Coach Hill, what's your favorite candy? Oh, wow, Snickers. Very popular, but very good choice. Thank you. Thank you. A few moments later. Score. There you go. Patrick wins. Oh, God. Nice. Wayne Gretzky, who? It's up. Oh, we actually almost made that. Oh my god, he actually almost. And he throws. Not no good. 